Na leo ikiwa ni tarehe 20 mwezi wa Julai siku ya Alhamisi na kukaribisha kwa moyo mkunjufu katika taarifa zetu za Mwanzo TV na mimi nafahamika kama Kevin Sewe na bado tunafuatilia tu taarifa ya maandamano leo ikiwa ni siku ya pili na vile vile siku ambayo uh, kiongozi wa Azimio Rail Odinga amesema hakuweza kufika katika maandamano kwa kuwa anauguza uh, ana, ni an, asikii vizuri kwa hivyo yuko hospitalini akiendelea kupata matibabu na wak punde tu atakapopata nafuu atakuwa akirejea katika barabara barabarani kwa maandamano mimi nafahamika kama Kevin Sewe na tunaanza moja kwa moja kwa taarifa kuhusiana na maandamano ambapo leo ikiwa ni siku ya pili ya maandamano uh, iliyoitishwa na uh, muungano wa Azimio maeneo machache yameshuhudia maandamano hayo hususan hapa jijini Nairobi hata hivyo vikundi vichache vichache ambavyo viko vimekusanyika maeneo kadhaa wa kadha maeneo ya Nairobi yalitawanywa na maafisa wa polisi kutumia vituo vitoa machozi hata hivyo viongozi Raila Molodinga pamoja na viongozi wengine wa Azimio hawajaonekana katika maandamano hayo kwa siku ya pili mfululizo <tos> Bado tukua tukua tarifa za maandamano ni kuwa mungano wa azimio wamesema wanasikitisho na hatua ya polisi ya, kutumu, ya kutumia nguvu kupindukia wakati wanawakabili wa andamanaji hata baadhi ya mapolisi kutumia risasi na kuangamiza wa andamanaji wengine mchana peupe mbunge wa ugenya opio wandai ambaye vile vile ndiyo kiongozi wa wachaji katika bunge la kitaifa amesema leo alamisi ilikuwa ni siku ya pili ya duru ya tatu ya wimbi ya maandamano na tayari umeridhishwa na wa andamanaji ambao walijitokeza na kufanya maandamano kwa amani demonstrations are ongoing we haven't stopped in Mombasa they know where they should be meeting in uh, Kakamega various parts of the country and as the uh, leader has said in Nairobi we are meeting at Central Park in the next hour or two and in Kisi people will be meeting at uh, Capital Roundabout and we encourage our people to continue being peaceful in their demonstrations it is the police officers that continue to uh, uh, disorganize them and attack them unfairly. And we are telling uh, the government and members of parliament from Kenya Kwanza that while you organize your militia to try and frustrate our efforts, we are being provoked to the extent we are also going to organize ourselves. And that is going to ruin our country. We encourage the Kenya Human Rights Commission and the various uh, uh, civil society organizations to also be on the watch on the brutality that these police officers are meeting on Kenya. Yangu ni kushtumu kwanza nitaanza na hao mapolisi. Nyinyi mapolisi, nyinyi pia mko na watoto. 
mke mko na wake mko na ndugu na sisi tunaomba watoto wenu pia na ndugu zenu wafanywe vile nyinyi mnafanya watoto wa wenzenu there are people who have died there are people who have been shot there are colleagues of ours who have been arrested and the only conclusion you can make is that there is a clear command structure that command structure began with a meeting in state house a meeting in state house that was clearly giving directions to members of parliament to retreat to their constituencies we have information that each of them was funded to the tune of 250000 and their mcs as well akika kufikia hapo tumeona kwamba wa kenya kina mama vijana watoto wazee wanateseka kwa uongozi wa dhuluma kwa uongozi wa kukosa haki za kibinadamu kwa uongozi usiostahili kwa karne hii kwa hivyo mimi naomba serikali iliyoko ambao si halali waachane na wakenya waishi kwa amani i want to say that uh, as has been said we are not going to stop and if somebody thinks that by arresting a few people here and there leaders are going to be uh, to fear we are not going to fear and we are calling upon our members across the country in siaya let us come out and let us demonstrate and as my colleagues have also said we are going to continue demonstrating today tomorrow until the government the illegal government is able to address the cause haya licha ya opio ndani na kikosi chake kuwalaumu polisi kwa kutumia nguvu kupindukia wakati wanawakabili waandamanaji naye rais William Ruto amewapongeza polisi uh, hii leo amewapongeza uh, maafisa wa polisi kwa kufanya kazi nzuri ya kulinda mali na kuzuia uharibifu wakati wa maandamano Ruto akiongea kwa maeneo ya Isiolo alisema kuwa serikali haitakubali upinzani kuendelea na maandamano nchini akisema uharibifu wa mali na maafa haitakubalika katika taifa la Kenya And I want to tell the people of Kenya that all of us must protect our country. We must Ati isiolo mumesema nini? Ati isiolo mumesemaje? Ati isiolo mumesemaje? Ati isiolo mumesemaje? Ati isiolo mumesemaje? wale wanasema hatutaki maandamano nione kwa mkono wa Kenya mahali pote every part of Kenya have said we cannot sabotage our economy using violence and destruction of business and destruction of property Kenya is the only place we have to call home and we must protect it by all means we must protect our democracy we must protect the peace in our country because it is a collective responsibility of all of us as citizens na mimi nataka niwaambie polisi wetu hongera kwa kusimama kidete na kuhakikisha kwamba kuna amani na kuhakikisha kwamba waalifu wa wote wanachukuliwa hatua ndio tuhakikisha kwamba kuna amani Kenya na hakuna vita na mali biashara ya wananchi isiharibike na biashara na mambo uh, equipment na, na vifaa yote ya serikali Haya bado tukiwa tukatika uh, awamu ama habari uh, kuhusiana na maandamano ni kuwa wakazi wa kaunti ya Kisumu ile waliingia barabarani tena uh, kupinga uh, ama kwa awamu ya pili ya maandamano kupinga serikali ya Rais William Ruto na vile vile kulalamikia ongezeko la gharama ya maisha.
thieves. Yes. We are demonstrating because the cost of Uga is high. Yes. We are demonstrating because Kenya Kwanza is a state of Uga. Yes. We are demonstrating because it's our right. Yes. Demonstration is a right in the constitution of Kenya. We do not want anybody to steal anybody's property. Yes. We are going to show Uga to the government. Aya, au ni watu wa Kisumu na vile vile leo ikiwa ni siku ya pili ya maandamano nchini shughuli za kibiashara uh, hata hivyo imeonekana kuendelea kama kawaida japo kwa mwendo wa kinyonga baadhi ya wafanyabiashara hata hivyo walisalia kufunga maduka yao hususan maeneo ya Nairobi tuelekee sasa maeneo ya Mbeya nchini Tanzania katika sakata ya bandari ambapo wakili Boniface Mwabukusi amesema leo Alhamisi Julai tarehe 20 mwaka huu kuwa wameamua kuyaondoa maombi ya kusimamisha utekelezaji wa makubaliano ya kati ya serikali ya Tanzania na ya Dubai ya uendeshaji wa bandari baada ya kujadiliana na mteja na wateja wao ili kuwezesha kesi hiyo ya msingi kusikilizwa na kuamuliwa haraka kuamuliwa haraka kufuatia shauri shauri ushauri wa majaji wanaosikiliza kesi hiyo maeneo ya Mbeya tutavikabili hatuogopi kuwekwa maabusu kwa sababu sisi sio majambazi sisi tunafanya kazi halali wana uwezo wa kutufunga pingu hawana uwezo wa kufunga pingu akili zetu watafunga pingu kindu mikono lakini akili zitabaki thabiti tukisimamia maslahi ulinzi wa rasilimali za Tanzania kwa sababu yetu na urithi ujao ndio maana tuko hapa mahakamani kama polisi wanaoja waombe kuwa interested party waache kutumia bunduki na mamlaka yao ya kipolisi kuingilia michakato na kutuharas tu kwa sababu wanafikiri kwa kufanya vile watatufanya tuonekane waalifu Aya, tukisonga mbele ni kuwa familia ya Morris Ogeta ambaye ni mlinzi wa kibinafsi wa kiongozi wa azimio Raila Amolo Odinga sasa inaitaka serikali kumwachilia mwanao bila masharti. Familia hiyo inadai Morris alitekwa nyara na watu wanaosemekana kuwa makachero wa DCI na hadi kufikia sasa hawajui aliko mwanao na vile vile hapatikani kwa simu na hakuna anayewapa majibu kuhusiana na uwepo wa mwanao. Ni 
inside the corner. Eh. Uyo mate, rari I'm Chris Ogeta, the younger brother to Maurice Ogeta, who is, who is now away from us. The report we found, or uh, the report trending, is that he was kidnapped. That is what we have for now. Up to date, we are not aware of his whereabouts. So we are kindly asking the government, being my brother, Maurice Ogeta, wasn't a politician, but was just a guard. To one, of, uh, to one of our own railodinga. So the family is really in pain and asking for his release if the government knows his whereabouts. And we are pretty sure this is more political than any other thing. Let the government release the brother. We are really in pain. And we are not going to sit, watch as he goes. Ninja is a woman in the middle. Go to the angle. Come without an end of my triangle. Does that mean you come down? I hear two name in a home by you, German. Meet a meeting to the angle. Say you get him to the angle. I'm very annoyed. I can't reach my brother. I'm having <coughs> many offense in this home. We have buried many people. We want the government of. Dr. William Ruto to produce my brother. He was just a, a guide for our Prime Minister, Railo Molodinga, and he was not in the, on duty. We want him to be produced today. Now, to, uh, to my mulinzi wa mwishimiwa Raila Molodinga atawachiliwa hivi karibuni. Na mdukisonga mbele ni kuwa familia moja katika kijiji cha Naikanoka wilaya ya Ngorongoro inalilia haki baada ya mwanao wenye umri wa meka kuminatano kudaiwa kufamio na maafisa wa polisi wa mamlaka ya ifadhi ya Ngorongoro ya pita juma moja. Inasemekana kuwa Joshua Ole Patoro alipigwa na polisi hadi kungolewa meno na kuwacha kumuacha akiwa na majiraha ya miguu na vile vile kichwa. Katika eneo ene letu la kata na nokanoka, eneo la malisho ya mifugo, eneo la romoti, kulitokea na ukiukwaji mkubwa wa haki za binadamu liefanywa na baadhi ya maaskari wa mamlaka ifadhi ya ngorongora ambayo sio aminifu na sio adilifu. Kuna kijana alikuwa anachunga mifugo <coughs> maaskari wakawa wako kwenye doria wakamkuta huyo kijana wakamfanyia jamba ambayo ni kinyume na haki za binadamu e, kijana ameumizwa e, ametolewa meno tatu ya juu lakini pia amepigwa tena sehemu ya uso hapa nafikiri hapa ni paja la uso amepigwa na kijana anavoniambia amepigwa kwa kitako cha bunduki na askari wa wanyamapori ambayo wako ranger post ya nenokano kapale na nimeweza kukaa naye kwa muda na kujaribu kumwangalia e, alivyopata maumivu ameumia kweli na sababu kubwa anasema amepigwa e, hana sababu anasema tu alitufuata tumekaa jioni saa kumi na ilikaa kumna moja mifugo wanarudi e, muda wa jioni kwenda nyumbani kwenye eneo la nenokano ka sababu sisi tuna share haya malisho ni sehemu yetu ya malisho kila siku E, alipokuwa narudi e, maaskari wale wakaenda wakawakuta alafu wakaanza kuwakimbiza na wakapiga risasi mbili lakini baada ya wengine kutawanyika kukimbia huyu hakaogopa kukimbia na aliogopa kukimbia kwa sababu mtoto pia ana tatizo ambalo watu wizi tuka expose lakini tuta, kuna namna tutatoa taarifa kwa kufuata taratibu za kisheria E, kuweka ili tatizo lake pengine namna gani itakavyotoka lakini alishindwa kukimbia akakamatwa wakapigwa kaumizwa na pale pale maaskari pia walimuua mmoja mmoja kwa kutumia risasi. Kwa hiyo kuna hatari sana eh Aya, kufikia hapo sina la ziada ila kulitimisha Uh, taarifa zetu za Mwanzo TV na kumbuka vile vile kesho ndio siku ya mwisho ya maandamano ya azimio na tutakuwa tukifuatilia tuone vile mambo takavyokuwa licha ya kuwa maandamano hayo yamepigwa marufuku na vile vile viongozi wa azimio bado wanazidi kuwa mafichoni uh, nikiweza kusema hivyo na vile vile kesho mwanabondia Karima Ndonga atakuwa akifanyiwa vipimo na taarifa hiyo vyote tutakuwa tukijuza hapo kesho kufikia hapo sina la ziada mimi Kevin Sewe Kwa hiri ya kuwanana.